भगवान की उनके सौमी जयंती पर श्रद्धांजलि अर्पित करते हैं मैं देवानंद पर एक कॉफी टेबल बुक लाने के लिए आयोजकों को बहुत हार्दिक आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ यह संकलन न केवल उनके स्थायी विरासत का एक प्रमाण है बल्कि सिनेमा की दुनिया में उनके द्वारा लाए गए जादू और आकर्षण का एक झरोखा भी है धन्यवाद और देव साहब की रोशनी हमारे दिलों में हमेशा चमकती है जय हिंद जय महाराष्ट्र उनकी फिल्म गाइड में रोज देख सकता हूँ रोज उसके सारे गाने में रोज सुन सकता हूँ ऐसी रिच फिल्म्स अब बनी नहीं सकती अब वो सिलसिला हो गया खत्म तो हम लोग जब एक अच्छे खूबसूरत पल सोचते हैं बिताएं तो ऐसी फिल्में देख लेते हैं जो दिल खुश कर देती हैं मन खुश कर देती हैं संगीत जो है वो कानों में रस खोल देता है अब देखिए वो गाना मैं भी दो लाइन गा रहा था अभी ना जाओ छोड़ के वो गाना फिर जिंदा हो गया अभी उसको कर ले आए अब वो फिर जो जवान लोग हैं फिर उस गुनगुना रहे इसका मतलब उसमें कुछ होगा ना उसमें कुछ दम होगा नहीं तो नहीं तो मुन्नी तो बदनाम अक्सर हुआ करती है लेकिन ये चीज़ें जो हैं ये जिंदगी भर हमारे साथ रहती हैं तो मैं देव साहब के बारे में यही कहूँगा कि मैंने भी देव साहब से एक चीज़ सीखी है कि जब सत्तर के हो जाओ तो अपने को सत्रह के समझो तो मैं वही एनर्जी आज रखना चाहता हूँ अपने में जो उनको देख देख के मैं सीखता था मैं उनके बहुत क्लोज था उनको बहुत मिलता था और उनसे यही सीखता था कि उम्र को बढ़ने दो अपने काम को उसकी उम्र न बढ़ने दो काम उसी तरह करो जिस तरह आज से 25 साल पहले करते थे 30 साल पहले करते थे उसमें उम्र ना बढ़े तो ये सब हमने उनसे सीखा है और ये मुझे बहुत मदद कर रहा है मुझे पता है कि आज जो मैं इतना काम कर रहा हूँ वो सब ऐसे लोगों की ही प्रेरणा से है मेरे लिए तो खैर देवानंद साहब जी का हालांकि मैं उनसे कभी मिली नहीं पर आई थिंक मेरी जो सारी चाइल्डहुड मेमोरीज हैं मेनली उनकी मूवीज़ और उनके जो सॉन्ग्स हैं बिकॉज हमारे घरों में सुना करते थे मेरे माई मदर वॉज अ बिग फैन ऑफ म्यूज़िक एंड आई थिंक जब ये बुक का हमने शुरू की जर्नी तो आई बिन अ पार्ट ऑफ इट सिंस द बिगिनिंग एंड इतनी ब्यूटिफुल मेमोरीज और जो सारे इनके फैंस हैं जो यहाँ पर सब मौजूद हैं उन्होंने इतनी मेहनत करी है ये बुक बनाने में एंड आई थिंक इट्स अ वंडरफुल ट्रिब्यूट टू देव साहब्स हंड्रेड इयर्स एंड वो रहे हमारे दिल में उनके गाने उनके म्यूज़िक उनकी मूवीज हमेशा हमारे दिल में What can you say about a person who taught the entire world how to romance? It's true. <laughs> It's He true. is the person who taught the entire world how to romance. Right. He is the one who taught every person, no matter what the age is. He taught those people to be young. He taught them to live young, love people, spread love. I mean, there were so many things that he would just say. There was chutkula the unke. At one point, he Tabasum ji asked him once at a function. टेंशन होती रहती है एंड ही सिंपल टर्न अराउंड टू हर वॉज बस तुम यार जो तुमको टेंशन देता है उसको तुम अटेंशन मत दो छोटी है एंड इट्स ऑलवेज बीन आई मीन ऑलवेज बीन फुल ऑफ लाइफ इज बीन फुल ऑफ फन इज बीन फुल ऑफ लव एंड इज जस्ट ब्रेक दैट ऑल अलॉन्ग वेद ओनली वे वी कैन रिमेंबर हिम एंड ऑलवेज पे ट्रिब्यू टू हिम जस्ट कैरी ऑन इज लेगेसी ऑफ रोमांस एंड being young and feeling and living life to your fullest that's what he did in the last bit that he did so it's, it's great and this book i think is an ideal tribute to and it's lovely that it has been put together so beautifully and uh, you know, all the people have been here my compliments thank you he's a legend uh just simply for the like उड़ाता चला गया। 
Childhood se fan hai. My mother is a huge fan of her music. So she is actually loves music. That is how I was introduced Congratulations, what a noble cause we consider this to get Dev Sab alive back with us. 100 years of his celebration, our lockdown has been launched. What do you think? No. Dev Sab is an evergreen star. The person who said the life should go on, work should go on, and you saw one of the clippings where he said, Dev Sab is an evergreen star. The person who said the life should go on, work should go on, and you saw one of the clippings where he said, कि काम करते रहो और मुझे लगता अभी मेरा मैंने जितनी फिल्में बनाई बनाई फिर भी मुझे लगता और कुछ बनाना चाहिए तो यू इंस्पायर फॉर पीपल लाइक दिस सी टुडे व्हाट वी आर लैकिंग इज फोकस इंस्पिरेशन वर्क कल्चर विच ही टॉट अस टाइमिंग दिस ऑल कॉम्बिनेशन टुगेदर मेक्स अ पर्सनलिटी मेक्स अ लेजेंड एंड यू आर अ As I gave the example, whether it is J R D Tata, Ratan Tata, Amitabh Bachchan, these are the people who are legend, you know, inspire you. And Devanand is from that era. Like someone said that Devanand are only born once, not a legend. And that what we all think and believe in. And I think Dev Sab was a personality with a lot of humility, with human touch. And he had a feeling for the people. He just didn't want to have friends for namesake. He wanted to have friends that whom he believed in and wanted to believe in the relation. Not only just to meet and say hello, hello, and say, oh, this is, oh, oh, oh. you know how the film industry was. He was not one of those. How long did that take and how did the idea happen? Unfortunately, you will see, we did it all in 60 days. Because we had good friends like Mohan, the Neha, Suti, the Dipti, all people who came together. And we all had, because it is not that we have done any work for, uh, or uh, with some commercial interest or that we should do like this, that. But we did it with passion and with feelings. So it happens automatically. Dev Sahib, your favorite actor? Of course. It goes without saying. See, favorite is a very small thing. But I am personally touched by him. And I feel that there are rare personalities where you get personal touch with the personal feelings. He was one of them. So, Dev Sahib ke saath bhoat interesting mera encounter hai. Kopi film ki casting kare the Love Time Square. Or, to unho ne kuch, unho ne ek naya actor ko launch karna hai. To, unho ne Glatax Man 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 Man. वो बुक मंगाई थी कि मुझे एक नया लड़का देखना है तो मैं इन लड़कों में से एक हूँ कौन सा सूट करता है मेरे कैरेक्टर को तो देख साहब की बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग बात थी कि वो कभी जो वीडियो ऑडिशन नहीं लेते थे वो फोटोग्राफिक ऑडिशन लेते थे वो हमेशा देखते थे कि ये एक्टर कैमरा लेंस पे कैसे लगता है तो उन और जब उनको दादा साहेब फालके अवार्ड मिला, जब उनको यूँ रोबांस एक विद लाइफ बुक लॉन्च की, तब मैं दोनों टाइम फेलिस्टेट किया था। वी हैड अ गुड पार्टी फॉर ही, एंड आई स्टू रेगुलरली इंटरैक्ट एंड मीट हिम, एंड इट वाज ऑल इनफॉर्मल चैट, दो नथिंग लाइक ऑफ फिल्म, नथिंग � his birthday party or his other party. I mean, and I am fortunate that he usually used to not go everywhere anymore. But he came for my children's wedding. And many people were surprised at Tough Club twice when he came. So, you know, 
especially the film people. They were more surprised because he does not usually go. He was a family man, personal man. Sir, what would you like to say today in the big day? Uh, all I can say is that um, for me personally, yeah, I started to, you know, associate with Dev Sahib as a fan. But after, when I, when I was just about 10, 12 years old, <coughs> when I, then I came, I was not in Bombay that time, then I came to Bombay. <coughs> I mean, it's a long history, I don't want to uh, go into all that. But when I started meeting him, then the, his film uh, personality and all that was another aspect. But uh, not only for me, but anybody who meets him even once, takes away something from him. And that is what, uh, I mean, inspired me and affected me. Every time you meet him, you learn something new. And uh, that's it. I mean, that is why I, I wanted to keep on meeting him. For my own selfishness, for my own benefit, because I always learn something new from him. In life or business or whatever it is. I mean, that's all I have to say. And this film, film, of course, uh, was a, I mean, everybody knows it, nothing new about it. It is a fantastic uh, career. So that's it. He is such a hardcore fan of Dev Sahib. The accessories that all belongs to him. And I got to know him and Kalantri Saab through Dev Saab only. I have been his close associate for many years till he passed away. But these two gentlemen I got to know through Dev Saab because uh, they were frequent visitors and extremely clo close to him and in the innermost circle. For these two people, I used to also look after his PR in a friendly way. But for these two people especially, uh, they, they never required any kind of intimation, advance intimation. They can suddenly come and barge in and meet him, you know. That kind of respect they commanded there. And Kalantri Sahib has always thrown parties for him on every occasion. And I have accompanied Dev Sahib to his parties. And uh, when the video was going on, you must have seen one video where he is yes. speaking something. That party was thrown by him uh, when Dev Sahib got that Falke award. Okay. So uh, all the big wigs, you know, used to come and uh, that way. And uh, Mr. Thirani Sahib also had a very personal relation with Dev Sahib. For his daughter's marriage also, Dev Sahib had come and... Uh, the first time when I met him was when Dev Sahib insisted that he should visit his house to, to, to bless his 